What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Ronji.com's Garage Sale Transformers Toy Finder or GSTF2 for short. That's This is the new show. We're not doing seasons anymore. And this is day number... what day? Number 5. Yeah. Of our countdown to Christmas 2018. But we don't know which episode it is in GSTF2. Yes. So what we're trying to do here, so last time we introduced to you robots in disguise, Legion class Optimus Prime. With Titans with her loud mouth. Yes, but we did Optimus Prime robots in disguise because we basically want to get the newer kitty cartoon toys out. So we've done, so we're going to do robots in disguise and Cyberverse, but this is episode number five, actually. So... Wait. And this time, we're doing the big ones. Yes, so episode 5 is a special episode. So, you know, multiples of 5 or 10. So that's sort of a thing we've been doing. And so in this episode, we thought we might try opening Bumblebee from Transformers Cyberverse. This is the um warrior class i believe if not yeah um let's take a look yes warrior class class guerrero classic guerrero um so so there's a photo of bumblebee with windblade and optimus prime from the cartoon it's still on youtube if you're still watching it so this toy is actually brand new there's an image of Bumblebee from the cartoon Transformers right there in yellow. I think because Cyberverse is linked to the Bumblebee movie. And, and oh, there's an Autobot logo, by the way, a big one. And the back, this is actually a sting shot. There's a sting shot. Um, and on the side it says... Feature. Convert to activate. And then um, Bumblebee... Heroic Function Courageous Scout, Nine Steps, and we have a few adverts for Optus Prime, Starscream, and Shockwave. I think these are Optimus Prime, doesn't... It's, and I think you... that might be Warrior Class as well, as so, opposed to Voyager guys. Class. I really want the Voyager Class Optimus Prime. And... So it says it comes with figure instructions. There's a bunch of other stuff here. Um, ma made in Vietnam. By and so there's a Hasbro logo. It says Hasbro Canada because we bought this in Canada. Yes, yeah, so we're going to say something, buddy. On the side, it says action attackers. And that's the action attack. Yes, yeah, sting shot. shot. Oh, it also says their fantasy scene. Whatever that is. Okay. Well, we'll try to open it. And to do that, try to look for a. Ooh, ooh there you go. We Can found we a. Open, I guess? Not really. It's just. Um, but it is what it is. So we we actually okay. We we really just need to. Um, there's tape here. We'll probably try to remove the tape. Let's use scissors to remove the tape. Unboxing is not, I mean, that's something I'm very good at. Oh, but look at that. The way, I feel like the way they've designed this, it makes it easier to unbox without getting it damaged too much. So all the tape part is, or the adhesive, between plastic and card is right here and here the, it's taped up but so here it's pretty easy just cut the tape pretty much and then we should be able to squeeze in and get our figure but no he's tied down somehow we really need to okay I think I have to cut the tape here as well but it's going to go oh, it's already damaging the thingy the box and if so. you notice that these are upcoming guys okay it's a double double plastic display kind of thing just gonna try to force it out it's probably gonna damage stuff but 
I mean, we're gonna play with this anyway, I mean, like, so. it's just a box. It's not something we need so much. But, but, but buddy, the, the, that's the reason why we're trying to keep the box is we can still sell it if we want to sell it. Anyway, that's, um, Bumblebee in his, in stasis mode. And these are the instructions. And as you can see, it's in yellow, blue, and white. This Bumblebee uh, uh, image of the, the sketch of the toy. Step one, two, three, four. What? Oh, this is the sting shot activation. Okay. That's, we'll try to figure it out. This is transformation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. We'll try to follow the instructions. First, we have to remove. I'm gonna leave it like oh, that. wow. This is well packed. You, you almost have to destroy the packaging just to get Bumblebee out. So it's a pretty nice, it's a, it's plastic, but it looks like the um, cartoon. And I think it's just appropriate for the cartoon, for the target audience. So um, let's follow the instructions. According oh wait, to let's do the slingshot first. Um, what does it do? Oh, oh, what? Oh, I think. I don't quite get it. Oh well, because if I pull this down, it will boom. There you go. So maybe that's how it, what it says. Yep. Yeah, but, that's but, what it says. Yeah. I so guess. let's check this guy out a little bit. He has ball joints on the hips, no articulation on the knee. That's weird. Almost looks like it does have articulation in the Same. knees. Please have a look. So there's that. There's an elbow joint. Can you please there's have a, look on the a knees? shoulder, but it's just a rotation joint rather than a ball joint. And then there's the action attackers thingy. So anyway, let's let's try to trans and and backpack wise, it's not bad. It actually looks nice, but he is pretty hollow down in there. If you can see that. Um, okay, let's try to transform into robot mode. Step one is to bring up this up. Vehicle Sure. Yep, and bring this down. It says, okay, that was step two. Step three is bring this up. There you go. There's a few couple of tabs in there. Tab them in. And step four is join the legs together. There are three tabs there that should join. There you go. Okay, and step number, what's our step number now? Five? Yeah. Step number five, 90 degrees. So this is supposed to go 90 degrees or actually more. There you go. I guess it's supposed, and that's also step six. There's a couple of tabs there that will go in there. Okay, there's also a couple of tabs there. Lots of tabs. Lots of tabs. Okay, step what's next? Seven. Step seven, we've done that actually. Step eight. Step eight, we have to rotate something. Oh, I know what you have to do. There you go. Yeah, you have and to do that. There you go, front of the car. And step nine, nine, basically we have to fold this up and over. Wow, that and was pretty it. simple. Well, it, it helps to follow the instructions. And that's a pretty nice uh, looking car. And as you noticed, the and wheels the, rotate. Yeah, spoiler. But in the cartoon, there's a curve down. Oh, For really? this one, there's no. Okay, yeah, so it's kind of different. It's not bad, actually. I like it. Hey, can you get, um, I'll, I'll go get something. You talk about the car mode first. Does it look like the one in the cartoon? 
Uh, yeah, kind of looks like the one in the cartoon. Swipe detail. The spoiler kind of looks like some shooting thing or whatever. Just looks like something. And then there's an Autobot logo. And this kind of bothers me, but I won't complain. There's these hinges you can see, but they appear out as guns. Yes. Okay, um, so that is Bumblebee, Transformers Side Reverse Bumblebee, and just, just for comparison, Can here's transform? Transformers Reveal the Shield Jazz. They're transform? about the same size, Daddy. maybe different scale. Daddy. This guy, I think this guy should be smaller really, but they're about, the, they're about the same length as well. So it, it's basically a warrior class. Now we're gonna try to transform. I'm gonna try to transform Is it okay? Bumblebee back. No, what are you gonna do? Is it okay if I transform? No, we, we need no. We're just okay. gonna show this these guys in robot mode. To compare with robot mode cyber versus bumblebee. You mean I transform that? You mean you transform yep. that guy? Yep, and so to do that, we'll try to remember what we did. Reverse the Basically, instructions! Yep. We separate these two, which is actually difficult to do. Because, I, oh, it's probably easier that way. Now I, we can lift that flap up and this flap up. Pull that uh basically 270 degrees and then now we can fold this and fold that that will become the arms and then um oh this one first you can see the head if you saw that the head was kind of peeking out already yep and there you go whoa action attackers Oh, there's a couple of tabs there that will tab into the back. So overall, pretty nice design. Um, I don't, well, not not perfect, far from perfect. Could have used some more articulation, I think. But yes, wait, wait, wait one minute, buddy. Um, I wanted to do with this guy. So that was quick transformation, actually. Then, Since we knew how to transform it. Yes, it helped that... Uh, so, how do we do the... I don't know how to just use the action attackers thingy. Do so, what? it says here, just press down. Okay, so keep this up there. Pull this down. Okay. I think you, you pull this up, pull this back, and then when you do this, whoops, not really. There you go. That That's all it does. So, and just to compare this guy with our other bumblebees. Whoa! We have a water problem here. But anyways, so this is Bumblebee and to compare him with basically you saw, oh, we saw Jazz. Uh, we compared him with Jazz in car mode. So we'll compare him with Wheelie instead who is the same mold. Transformers Generations Wheelie who is the same mold as Jazz. And you can see Wheelie is basically much taller than Bumblebee. So that's a... That's not a bad scale. Hey. And then um, the next thing we're gonna compare Bumblebee to is to another Bumblebee. And this is Transformers Prime Bumblebee. And they are about the same height. So that's pretty nice. Um, although of course this is for a more mature audience. This Bumblebee really, man, look at all that space in there. Doesn't look good. I mean, so it's good enough, but is it worth it? I forgot how much I got it for. Um, but anyway, and here's another Bumblebee from a cartoon, similar cartoon. Robots in this guy's Bumblebee, but I think this is either Scout class. No. I think it's Scout class. And so, you can see he's much smaller, of course. And 
and guys, just if you didn't, just if you, just for a reminder, if you have the app, you can scan that logo and then he'll be playing inside the game. Cool. So, and last but not least, we have here Transformers, Titans. I believe Titans Return, Bumblebee, and he's Legends class. Look. The, the, he's way guys, smaller. Well, he's shorter than this guy. And I think, I know this is Legends class and he's obviously way smaller than even Cyberverse it's Scout class tight. Bumblebee. He's oh, wait a minute. Tight. This is Warrior class Bumblebee. So this is probably Warrior class as well. This is Deluxe class. Wheelie is Deluxe class, so he's much taller. So, this is Scout class. Or Legends class. This might be Scout class or also Legends so class. So this guy is the waist tight of the Cyberverse. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't hold very well. Oh, there you go. That's better. So, hey, class photo, guys. Want to take a screenshot of that? Okay, well... That's about it for this episode of Ronji.com's Garage Sale Transformers Toy Finders or GSTF2 for short. If you like this episode, of course, please hit the thumbs up button or click subscribe or click the notification bell icon. And if you have any comments or suggestions, whether you're, you know, you can, if you're, even if your voice box is um, damaged, you can just uh, type in your comments and suggestions in the comments section below. And last but not least, we really, really appreciate if you can, if you share this episode with your friends, family, loved ones, your children, your grandchildren, sons and daughters, your nephews, your nieces, your parents, your grandparents, all of your friends on Facebook, especially your Facebook group groups maybe. Yes, and um, so until next episode, just to give you a little teaser, day six will be this guy, day seven, and day eight. Until next time, Autobots, rev up and row. Wait, I know what to do. Let's bring in another bumblebee. Here's another bumblebee. Turbo Changer Bumblebee. He's taller than that guy and that guy. But one of the things he can do is he can say, he can do the, um, what's that? Our outro. Autobots, rev up and roll out. I forgot how to do this. Whoa. He's a spring outro. Wait a minute, how do I do that? Can I do it? Just like that? Yeah. Okay, let's try it again. Autobots, rev up and roll out. Whoops. Okay. Ah, you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, Autobots, rev up and roll out. Let's try it again. Whoops. Ah, the spring. Whoops. Wing. Yes, Wing. yes. Oh, Wee. it's sticky. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, that was easier said than done. Rev up and roll out. Oh.